Do you kiss on the first date? Do I kiss on the first date? Yeah. I f on the first date. You f on the first date. I do f on the first date. I also will have sex with someone after 10 minutes of knowing them. We interrupt this program to prescribe you with a thousand milligrams of red vitamins. Right here, right here, right now, right now. It's the right time, right time, right time. It's the right time, right now, right now, right now, right now, right now. Right now. Tell the whole pie down, pie down, pie down. What's good, shout around? It's your boy Reclaim Your Throne coming at you with another crazy video. But first, my goal is to get to 10,000 subscribers by the end of the month. So make sure you go ahead and like, comment, share, subscribe. And you already know, Reclaim Your Throne. Do you kiss on the first date? Do I kiss on the first date? Yeah. I f on the first date. You f on the first date. I do f on the first date. I also will have sex with someone after 10 minutes of knowing them. Do you kiss on the first date? Oh, God. And like I have said over and over and again, modern women have the digital footprint of an adult film actress. This is a perfect example. And I, I, I don't know why she would make this admission in public, on camera, but this shows the apathy, the the lack of foresight and 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 you know futuristic thinking that these modern women have because she is literally saying something that could jeopardize her relationships in the future or presently on camera on a a, a, a TikTok that she is hoping gets millions of views and she can be famous for oh yeah I'm that slut who who you know did that street interview that one time this is what a lot of these modern women are trying to be known for so uh you know that's why a lot of young men are just exploiting it and saying hey let me just see what they actually say we have all these theories online and and, and we're thinking about well what do women think about this what do women think about that and the the reality is that if you just go up and put a camera in their face and ask them they're gonna tell you the real deal. So, I mean, that's something that you guys really have to understand uh, to be true in this modern age. And a lot of my white Malcolms, okay, mildly attractive, lucrative, communicative, operational, likable men, you guys are gonna end up wifing this, bro. And <laughs> the, the crazy thing is, a lot of guys say, oh, I'm not going to mess with her because of this or that. and Or if she dates this guy, that guy. Bro, a lot of y'all are never going to know. And then some of y'all aren't even going to do the due diligence to go to your friend group and send her pictures. Hey, have y'all ever seen this girl somewhere? Like, you know what I'm saying? Have you, have you seen her doing this or doing that? Are you heard anything about her? Send her name. Start talking about it. See if anybody, if y'all in the group chat are Eskimo brothers. A lot of y'all aren't doing that due diligence. And then when it happens it's just too late or you knowingly are, are are becoming eskimo brothers with your homeboys and and then ending up cuffing i've seen that too uh you know in my college days where where it'll be a guy and and he's not an ugly guy it's not like he you know he he's just blue vitamin he he could get other women but he has that scarcity mindset and and he has a a, a mindset of like he has the mindset, oh, okay, this is the one, this is the one. And he feels like that about every girl that he ends up liking. So even though the homie has already smashed, you'll come up behind that, you'll follow up behind that, and you'll cuff her. Now, I'm not against following up behind it and, you know, doing what you got to do. But, it, you know, and, and that's debatable. A lot of guys, whatever. But <sighs> following up behind and cuffing is the problem. And that's what a lot of you guys are doing. So I'm trying to save the brads i'm trying to save the chads i'm trying to save these guys who honestly just don't understand the game and a lot of times because it's coming from a black guy it's not going to be received well 
and I'm not trying to trigger anybody or, or practice a, you know, a, a, a sense of, um, you know, the reverse racism, if you will, which has become a common term. But that's just the reality. Guys, y'all have to stop falling for this. This is exactly why these chicks think they can do it because they know that a lot of these dudes will simp for them. And that's the uh, that that's the disheartening thing at the end of the day. I'm not really upset or triggered by anything that she's saying. This is something that I know to be true. Modern women have the digital footprint of an adult film actress. And if you go to my prior videos, you can clearly hear me state that, say that repeated times and, and just expound upon that. <clears throat> but the reality is what hurts me is that some of my men who are Malcolm's mildly attractive, lucrative, communicative, operational, likable men, who are BBW TDMs, busy body, well-to-do men, who are these, these guys who are in the marketplace and they're working regular jobs, or they might be a blue collar guy, or they might be a white collar guy. They might be a guy who is doing an everyday job from home, remote, remote work and all this kind of stuff. I don't want one of my guys to end up cuffing one of these chicks and not understanding the history. This is why body count matters so much. And I will say this till the hills fall off for women. It matters a lot. And, and the reason why I say this <clears throat> is because look at the history. Modern women have the digital footprint of an adult film act. So what does that mean? That means that I can trace her digital footprint through the internet, right? I shouldn't be able to go online and know who you fucking. Like, as a guy, that's not something that we want in our women. Whereas women, they'll see a guy in a picture with a lot of hot girls and they'll be like, oh, he, 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 he's having motion. Let me be one of those girls in the picture. Facts. And if you don't believe me, then just look at every celebrity or look at every Instagram famous dude or look, look at every TikTok famous dude. They get validation from ha being around women and, and, and not being a weirdo and being able to interact with women in real life. Uh, it, it's something that's validating for um, women. And it, and it shows that you are a guy who, it, you know, you're in pictures with women, you're around women. So a lot of girls must like you. Therefore, now I like you because the hive mind. So um, my white guys, this one's for you. Please do your due diligence. Do your due diligence. Do not fall. See, a lot of y'all, y'all are doing due diligence in the business, but you're not doing dil due diligence with your woman. And that is the problem. Uh, this is an admission, right? Body count matters. If you guys are trying to decipher the body count of a modern woman, it is her age minus the uh you know her 18 really we're giving them benefit of the doubt at 18 honestly we know that they're starting earlier but we're giving the benefit of the doubt her age minus 18 and multiply that by her level or degree of promiscuity which is between three to seven i am leaning towards the seven now right before i was giving benefits of doubt in which I am giving benefits of doubt with age just to stay in a legal realm of, of, of a, a, a dialogue here. But um, <clears throat> yeah, bro, age minus 18 multiply by three to seven, depending on the level of promiscuity. If she is a three, then that means that, you know, she is smashing three dudes a year. If she's a seven, then she's smashing seven dudes a year, if not more. So uh, be cognizant when you are choosing a woman to make the mother of your kids, wifing, all this type of stuff. Um, don't get finessed. Wow. So... I mean, everything that I'm saying is is being proven correct over and over again. This is Dublin, England, I believe. And this is a vision portal, basically a FaceTime or a webcam from Dublin to New York City. 
and you have a woman who is obviously presumably a OnlyFans creator or whatnot. I'm sure there's an article written about it or whatever, but we're not giving these hoes no clout. And she flashes the camera. For one, she doesn't know if there are children on the other side of that portal. This is a public street, okay? She doesn't know if there, I mean, there. it looks like there's a young lady right there. So what is she influencing other young women to do when she's doing this, all right? Uh, you see an older couple, you know, she is obviously tempting this elderly man. Look at this elderly white man. She's tempting him to lust. Guys, this is everything that I'm talking about. He's with his wife, and you're just going to flash some freaking tits right there in the portal, a public portal. This is why we can't have nice things. But this is the mindset. This is the mindset of damn near, I'll say about 75% of modern women, period. There's the, the there's literally no argument. I, I don't even know how you can even have an argument against any of these red, vil, uh, red vitamin tenements that we've been speaking about. I mean, she, she carelessly, and, and disrespectfully goes and, you know, flashes herself in this portal. And here's the thing. Everything's being recorded. Everything's being recorded. So I'm sure, you know, she doesn't care. She's all on, you know, probably other uh, spicy sites and whatnot. But just understand that... <laughs> We have come into an age of, uh, I mean, it, it's pretty much Sodom and Gomorrah. That's the reality, okay? What once was crude and, and you know, immoral is not anymore. There are pretty much no rules when it comes to the sexual marketplace. So women can keep saying, oh, we're not all like this and da-da-da-da. And they can keep doing that and saying that. But at the end of the day, when example after example after example after example is displayed on the internet and in real life, when the internet is starting to reflect your real life interactions and in, in real life, uh, you know, uh, events, <laughs> which uh, the internet is a reflection of real life and in real life is a reflection of the internet, you are going to start to really understand what we are been or what we've been saying the whole time so i just got the portal from new york city to dublin shut down i thought the people of dublin deserved to see my two new york homegrown potatoes and then this happened no. is it down for the night uh, most likely it's gonna be off for quite some time because we have you know some rules and regulations around because it's very unfortunate that people are acting not in the best way so yeah so there you have it. And she's proud that she got it shut down. She's proud that she got it shut down. And she got it shut down for everybody. Dude. <clears throat> I mean, this this is this is ridiculous. This is, I mean, these women have no type of care for anybody but themselves. They are doing everything and anything for clout. And it's absolutely disgusting. You don't know who you are affecting when you are doing something like this. And look, she doesn't care. And she's like, oh, my boyfriend went to ask what was going on to distract. So apparently, I guess this side of the portal is in New York. So she's a New York bitch. And then she was flashing her, you know, tits to Dublin. So, I mean, just an immature. And they say, oh, men are so immature. Bruh, you're full of it, dude. I mean... These women have no type of remorse for their actions when they're doing these things. And therefore, she's not going to have any remorse when she takes you to the cleaners, bro. Yeah. Yeah. You, bro. My Malcolms. Mildly attractive, lucrative, communicative, operational, likable men. Right? She's, she's not going to care. Busy body, well-to-do men. BBW TDMs. She ain't going to care. She's going to keep doing things like this. She's going to con continue to embarrass, embarrass you. And if you mar marry her, she's going to embarrass your name, your family name, your familial name that has been passed down for generations. 
and has been a great representation of you and your family up until now. That's what she's going to do, man. It's just the reality. These modern women have completely lost it, dog. So when it comes to dating in the West, in the United States, I recommend Passport Bros. Um, I, I recommend MGTO Dub. You know, I, I recommend doing whatever you have to do to not end up with someone like this. Now, if you find a good one, okay, a diamond in the rough, then yes, go, go to distance with her. But bro, do not end up getting finesse and be wondering, why, oh, well, well, you know, I don't know why she took me to the cleaners and divorce court. Bro, you know why? Because you watched my video, you scoffed me off. And then you went and, and cuffed the next thing, the hottest thing, smoking. And come to find out 10 years later, she, you know, flashed the portal and everybody done seen her tits and you done married her. And now everybody hates her and they laughing at you. But you already know what it is. It's your boy Reclaiming Throne. Make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe. See your relationship according to the email down below with a screenshot of your cash out. So I know you're paying your ties, man. Y'all need to be on your mark for getting with the BS. You already know. Reclaim your throne. Want to become an elite level athlete? Well, look, no further the reclaim your throne elite d1 training course is all you need to take your performance from subpar to the creme de la creme of athletes all around the world the purpose of this course is to give you a comprehensive weight training speed flexibility recovery and endurance program that is meant to prepare young athletes for collegiate and professional sports this course is packed with over two hours of creative action-packed lifts narrated and coached by yours truly to assure increased strength speed flexibility recovery and endurance hey i get it training alone can be tough and can even make you feel misguided or somewhat unmotivated but with this course i walk you step by step through each and every lift to make sure you're using the proper form to prevent injuries and that you're hitting the correct muscle groups to render maximum results so what are you waiting for it's now or never so go ahead and get the training course today so you too can reclaim your throne